Although many may not recognize the name Mason Reese, TV viewers from the 70s will likely recognize the former child actor's face. As a child, Mason appeared in numerous memorable commercials for brands like Dunkin' Donuts and Underwood Deviled Ham. As an adult, Mason tried his hand at owning and operating numerous restaurants in New York City. Today, the 56-year-old Mason remains in the area and is dating a much younger woman. This relationship has drawn quite a bit of attention, which has subsequently led to the couple giving a public interview. Join Facts First as we meet the former child star Mason Reese's shockingly young girlfriend. Mason Reese was born April 11, 1965. He was the youngest child in his family and drew plenty of attention for his looks and charm. In the 70s, he began acting in TV commercials, and he became a reappearing guest on The Mike Douglas Show. As Mason got older, he became less interested in entertainment and decided not to pursue it as a career. However, his commercials for brands like Dunkin' Donuts and Underwood Deviled Ham likely remain in the memories of those who saw them back in the day. As an adult, Mason tried his hand at owning and operating numerous restaurants throughout New York City. One such restaurant was Paladar, an eatery located in the Lower East Side that served pan-Latino cuisine. He also operated Destination Bar and Grill in the East Village and a sports bar called The Luxury Box. All these have been closed since 2015, but Mason is still currently worth an estimated $1 million without them. Mason still currently lives in New York and has recently drawn attention by cavorting around in public with his much younger girlfriend. Mason, now 56 years old and standing at a height of only 5 feet, has been dating an adult model half his age for the past several years. Her name is Sarah Rusi, and the pair's relationship has turned some heads. Many have speculated Sarah is only with Mason for his money, but both have denied this claim. Sarah has worked as a sugar baby before, taking money from older men in exchange for a relationship, but she claims this isn't what's going on between her and Mason. Although she says Mason is certainly the one to pay for dates, she continues to pay her bills and other predominant expenses independently. Although Sarah still technically resided in her own apartment last time anyone checked, she was spending most of her time at Mason's. During a TV interview they made after their relationship began drawing attention, they expressed they had plans to get married if they were still together in a few years. Though it appears the couple is still together, it's unclear if they finalized marriage plans. During that interview, the couple also shared intimate details about their sex life. Mason spilled the beans about how often he and his much younger girlfriend were having sex, which turned out to be two times a week. However, Mason expressed he was hoping that number could be brought up to three times a week soon enough. They say the reason they only have sex twice a week is because of Sarah's demanding work schedule as an adult model. According to Sarah, Mason's sexual appetite was so ravenous she had a hard time keeping up, despite the fact that Mason requires a mobility scooter to get around. According to Mason, this is the first time he's ever dated someone who wasn't relatively within his own age bracket. The former star has shared he hasn't dated another person in their 20s since he was in his 20s himself. Because of this, meeting and falling in love with Sarah came as a huge surprise. Sarah, on the other hand, says she's pretty much only ever dated men in their 50s. According to her, these are simply the types of men she's truly attracted to. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Mason Reese and Sarah Rusi met in person for the first time at a horror convention called the Chiller Theater Expo, being held in New Jersey. Sarah was attending the convention to sign pictures and merchandise, and Mason came there to meet her upon her request. Although the two had never met in person before, they'd been in contact on Facebook. Most relationships with notable age gaps start with the older party expressing interest first, but Sarah was the one who reached out to Mason. A friend of Sarah's had brought Mason up in conversation, and Sarah became interested upon hearing tales of the former child star. She looked some of Mason's classic commercials up on YouTube and became instantly endeared by who she saw. She sent Mason a friend request and Mason accepted, seeing Sarah and he shared some mutual friends. The two exchanged messages and hit it off. Eventually, Sarah invited Mason to meet her at the Chiller Theater Expo. Mason arrived at Sarah's convention table when she wasn't there and waited for her to make an appearance. Sarah was working the convention floor, signing autographs for those in attendance. Upon returning, Sarah saw Mason and gave him a big hug. 
The two went to have drinks at the bar, and the conversation lasted three hours, before reportedly evolving into a makeout session that lasted until the bar closed. The two were just as passionately in love in person as they had been on the internet. After their convention meetup, Mason and Sarah didn't see each other again for a month. This was because Mason had to go to LA for business. When he returned, he decided it was time to take Sarah on their first proper date. From there, the two began spending more and more time together. One might imagine Sarah's parents aren't too happy about her dating and potentially marrying a man twice her age, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Sarah has shared her parents are glad she's dating a man as kind and gentle as Mason. According to her, the affable and charming Mason is much more appealing to her parents than some of the bad boys she could be bringing home otherwise. Sarah took Mason to spend Christmas week with her parents the first year they were together, and Mason and Sarah's parents were reported to have gotten along very well. Although the relationship might be a little unusual, it appears as if they truly love each other. One of the biggest questions that Mason and Sarah are always asked is why they get along so well. They express they have a great deal of common interests and a similar sense of humor. Sarah enjoys riding along with Mason on his mobility scooter and cracking jokes at the people and places they see along the way. Sarah has shared that Mason always knows how to make her laugh, and his rampant sex drive certainly doesn't hurt Sarah's attraction to him. Not much has been heard from Mason and Sarah since their public interview. But if they're still together, we should be hearing about marriage plans sometime soon. During the interview, Mason expressed he was certainly not in any rush to get married, but both he and Sarah had committed to a potential marriage should their relationship last. Now it's time to hear from you. Comment down below to share if you have a favorite commercial from Mason Reese's acting days. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.